Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Thank you so much for checking uh, this video out. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some fragrances that I've recently acquired. Um, these are two of them that I'm going to um, be telling you a little bit about. I have five in total. I'm going to start off with this one. Um, and I'm going to leave this one for last. And then I have three for in the middle. Um, I'll leave those as a little bit of a surprise. Although I'm sure if you've already seen perhaps the title or the description, you already know which fragrances that is. And that's fine. It's not a, a, t a total surprise. No spoiler alert. Um, okay, so this one here might look familiar to you. And that's because this is from the House of Chloe. And I've recently, not recently, but a while back, um, I did acquire the uh, Chloe Eau de Parfum de Signature bottle that looks very similar to this, except the bow is um, a little bit of a different color because this one here is actually Rose Tangerine. So let's start off with that one. So um, as I said, this I believe is just called Chloe rose tangerine if i'm not mistaken the correct title will definitely be in the description box below um so i did pick this up at sephora um, when they had um, some sort of sale or promo uh, and i was really excited to add this to my collection just because i do really love my chloe signature fragrance um i don't know if that's what it's supposed to be called just like the regular edp that looks pretty much exactly the same as this but the bottle is like i think cream colored um yeah and it's my my original bottle is already resting this one is nice and perfect and new um so i just got this in so i'm so excited so let's spray it and talk about it um and get on with it <laughs> okay so um i i need to save enough room on my arm so let me do this how am I gonna do this so that I have enough? Okay, I'll start with the wrist and go down. So I'll start with this area here. Um, yeah, let me just spray it there. Um, this is very rosy. Um, it's also citrusy and I also get a little bit of woodsiness. Um, so that doesn't surprise me at all, it being rose tangerine and um, the woodsiness. Like I can't remember. It smells very similar to the original Chloe, I do have to say. Uh, let's talk about the notes and then I'll give you a little bit more of an impression as this dries down. Uh, so in the top we have tangerine and black currant. In the heart we have rose and in the base we have cedar and amber. Um, this is absolutely lovely in just the same way that the, the Chloe, the original Chloe is. Um, this actually kind of um, reminds me of Burberry Her, but the EDT, uh, like I know the original Burberry Her EDP, which I'm thinking about if I should add it to my collection, smells very similar to like Baccarat Rouge, 540 and Ariana Grande's Cloud and In the Stars from Bath and Body Works. Um, but if you are a smoke thief or breathe her EDT, it's, it's quite different in my opinion. But this is, um, this is softer, I feel like. This is definitely softer um, and a little bit more citrusy. Um, but I feel like Burberry Her EDT is a little fruitier, but they both have um, the black currant, the rose, the cedar. I think that's what's really making it um, very similar to me, at least. Um, this is youthful yet sophisticated. Um, and I think this is pleasant. Um, is it unique? Maybe not. Um, is it worth while having in my collection, um, despite having the original Chloe. I think this is a little bit fresher and I think that's probably the tangerine. Um, and, you know, like, I don't think I need to get a second bottle now of the EDP having this, but um, I'm not disappointed in that at all. I think this is just really lovely, pleasant, sophisticated, but it's youthful. I feel like this is a, a tad more youthful than the original, although I feel like 
with the original EDP, like young girls can get away with wearing that as well. So that's that first fragrance. Okay, moving right along, I uh, just recently got three fragrances from Oil Perfumery. Oh my goodness. I've been wanting to check out Oil Perfumery for the longest time. I've recently been getting into um, perfume, perfume oils. If you've checked out my videos, I really love the Nest perf perfume oils that you can get at Sephora. And I've heard so many people just rave about these perfume oils. So I decided to check them out. I picked up three um, as I have here. And I've also been getting into like roller balls, which I never used to like. So um, I kind of like this idea. So the three that I picked up were um, Molecule 01, um, Lost Cherry from Tom Ford, and Baccarat Rouge 540 from Maison Francis Kirk Dijon. So let's start with Molecule 01. It's this one here. And then we'll talk about the other two. So this one I'm just going to put on my wrist here. Okay, just don't know if you can see that. It glided on quite nicely. So I smell wood, musk, and amber. And um, according to like the Molecule 01 from Eccentric Molecules, um, the only note in this is actually ISO E Super, but this scent reminds me of like how high-end shops smell like when you enter. It's very sweet, powdery, cedar almost like. Um, and I guess I heard that with this fragrance, it kind of works with your natural pheromones. And so it smells quite different like um, for everybody, but um, and I heard that this is really good for layering. I mean, I'll definitely try it, but I wouldn't even mind wearing it alone because this is like a very feminine wood, woodsy kind of a fragrance. And usually woodsy scents smell quite masculine on me, but maybe because it's working with my natural pheromones, this is really, really nice. And I'm very pleasantly surprised. I thought it was gonna either smell like nothing or, but yeah. Okay, this is a good one. I highly recommend checking that one out from Oil Perfumery. Okay, and then moving right along to Lost Cherry from Tom Ford. Definitely wanted to check that one out as well. Oh, look, you can still see the sheen of the oil. I don't know if I should. Oh, you know what? Why don't I rub it in with the um, Chloe and see what it does? Because they say, you know, this really emphasize if you want to make a fragrance long lasting, that's really good for it. Okay, anyways, let's try the Lost Cherry. I'll put it over here. Ooh, that really comes on quite thick. Okay, this smells very sweet, like almonds and cherry, of course. Mm, it's not bad, actually. Um, it's a bit too syrupy and like cinnamony, um, for me though, I would probably only wear this, um, like in the colder months. Um, but if you like cherry, it's definitely worth a try. And I definitely think it's better than a lot of other cherry fragrances. Although I am a fan of cherry. One of my favorites is, um, from Guerlain Le Petit Robe Noir. I love those cherry fragrances. So yeah, but this is nice. But like I said, it's very syrupy and cinnamony. So if you like that, you might enjoy this. And I think this is maybe only for reserved for colder months or like cooler evenings in like the warmer months. So that is from Oil Perfumery, another one, and that is Lost Cherry. And moving right along to the favorite one that I was most like most looking forward to from Oil Perfumery. This is um, Baccarat Rouge 540 from Maison Francis Kirk Duchon. Yeah, sorry, I'm still smelling the last cherry. Okay, so we'll put that one over here. Wow, these come on like slick. Like I thought I would really have to rub it in because this is the first time I'm trying them. Oh, wow, this smells warm and woody. I also get like a, Amber, I feel like 
the first fragrance had that kind of amber, but these are quite different, of course. Um, I feel like if a fragrance was a warm hug, <laughs> this would this would be it. And it's kind of milky and dreamy, and it's a very comforting scent. It's pure comfort. I think this could also be worn all year long, but again, I think this would be best suited and would really shine during like fall, winter months. Like anytime you would wear like a big warm sweater, I feel like this would just, just really, really be lovely. Yeah, this does not disappoint. Of course, every, I mean, I feel like I'm not gonna say everyone loves Baccarat Rouge because I'm sure there's people who don't, but I, I totally get the hype. And I think I've smelt it before. Like this is not the first time I'm smelling Baccarat Rouge 540, but this is a very good um, like oil um, version of it. So that's great. No disappointments there. Lovely. Okay, and then last but not least, you saw this at the beginning. I did also pick up um, from Nina Ricci. This is the um, Lixdos Rose Absolute. This, I feel like I'm kind of late on the bandwagon, but a lot of people on YouTube really love this fragrance, so I thought I would check it out. It's such a beautiful bottle. Um, it's so heavy compared to my first Chloe fragrance, which I never thought was very light, but this is just so heavy in comparison. Okay, so this one I'm gonna have to spray maybe over here. So we'll just, I don't want it to interfere too much with the other fragrances. So I get rose, vanilla, and this also is quite warm, just as the other fragrances. Yeah, it's a rose, vanilla, warm fragrance. Um, okay, let's talk about the notes. In the top, we have pink and black pepper. In the heart, we have rose and cedar. And in the base, we have vanilla, benzoin, and patchouli. This is definitely in the same vein as um, Kaoli's Sweet Diamond, I wanna say. I know a lot of people have compared this to an, um, another Francis, Maison Francis Kirk Dijon fragrance, I forget which one, and he is actually the nose behind this one, but I really get like Kaoli's Sweet Diamond, if you've ever smelled that. Um, this is, a very feminine fragrance. Um, it brings a very mature and um, sophisticated energy. I think this would be perfect for a date night. Anyways, guys, this was just a short little quick video about my first impressions on some fragrances that I recently picked up. All winners, um, definitely not disappointed by any of them. I feel like there's a, definitely a theme, very like warm, warm cold weather fragrances, this one especially, the Lost Cherry, the um, the Baccarat Rouge 540 for sure. This one, mm, probably on the opposite end of the spectrum, very like fresh and light, but all quite rosy. The Molecule One was actually probably the biggest surprise. I thought I was not gonna like it as much as I do. And anyways, guys, that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Please comment down below your thoughts on any of the fragrances I mentioned today. And I will see you in the next video. Stay safe, everyone.